Well, good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday, 24th of October 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of um, <clears throat> the economic data today and the uh, news, European markets certainly, certainly uh, are moving higher. Uh, certainly have gapped up on the back of stronger Chinese uh, market close. You have the Ch uh, Shanghai Composite up 1.2 percent, the Hang Seng up 1 percent. So certainly a gap higher. Although that is being eroded now, uh, the FTSE certainly has come back and uh, and uh, certainly retraced quite substantially. You have the uh, Nikkei certainly negative overnight, so that certainly is a bearish factor. Okay, European markets certainly uh, gapped higher on the back of this weaker euro. It's all about this weaker euro story with euro below the 1.09 zone. Okay, German DAX up 100 points, the French CAC up 40 points. So, a healthy rise there. The FTSE certainly was up quite substantially at one time until it uh, certainly paired its gains, and that was on the back of uh, the Iranian um, comments of uh, potentially freezing production, not uh, no mention of cutting production, and certainly um, uh, hinting that they certainly you know, are not on board with the rest of the uh, OPEC and non-OPEC individuals. So again, oil price is certainly sliding now below $50, okay. Uh, copper certainly remains under pressure since last week. And now we have the Aussie and Kiwi certainly coming under pressure as well as the US dollar still certainly remains well bid. Okay, stronger dollar obviously hurts commodities and this potential rate going, or rate hike should I say, going into this potential December meeting, again, certainly is bearish. Now, the uh, the European mayor equities certainly have uh, have remained strong, given the fact that there were there was tapering, obviously, concerns going into Draghi, and that was negated, and therefore the euro certainly has been sliding ever since, adding the fact that, obviously, you have this potential um, a long squeeze, as the long certainly got squeezed out, as uh, tapering, certainly, tapering story certainly was negated. Now, this morning, we have had stronger German PMIs, EU PMIs, and French PMIs, Again, all indicating that there's no no need for additional QE, so certainly uh, negate the uh, the need for QE. So therefore, you are looking at a bearish equity market. Okay, now I'm certainly expecting the euro to pop. Uh, looking for the euro to pop and move higher. If I bring up the chart, the euro USD. If you are trading the European equities, it's all about the euro, folks. Okay, uh, the daily chart certainly is putting in a doji. We do have a support at the 1.0830 zone on the daily chart, but that certainly will not get tested, from my understanding, especially given the fact that the German Germans themselves certainly have uh, have certainly forecast a, a rise in potential Bundesbank monthly report. German inflation could be slightly above one percent by end, year end. So again, if inflation certainly has started to tick higher, okay, and given the fact that the uh, PMI data is stronger, there certainly is no need for any additional QE, okay. And again, tapering talk may well come back into the uh, the foray. So again, it's uh, it's interesting, okay. Six, uh, six daily chart, you can clearly see here the uh, double bottom certainly has been put in at one eight one point zero eight sixty. And now we are looking for a potential pop in the euro up to 1.0940, 1.0960. So looking for a risk off trade. Again, it's all about the dollar as well. The dollar certainly is at lofty heights. If the dollar starts to retrace and you are looking at the euro starting to move higher. Okay, so but the Aussie and Kiwi certainly remain under pressure given the, uh, the weakness in oil hitting below $50. Now let's look at the technical picture, folks. Again, also the UK CBI data certainly came in on the weaker side. So again, looking for risk aversion there. Uh, German DAX daily chart uh, in the, into horizontal resistance, as you can see here. 60 minute chart, you have multiple unfilled gaps below. So again, certainly remains vulnerable to uh, a flush lower. We are into pivot R3 now. So again, if I go to the 10 minute chart, you'll be able to see that uh, very clearly. You're into that uh, pivot R3 resistance. So the uh, German DAX certainly is severely, severely overbought with the RSI approaching that $70, 70 region as well. So you are looking for potential gap fill below. So again, look for those gaps to be filled below, especially with US markets now into resistance as well. So looking for gap fill, looking for a potential intraday double top here on German DAX, okay? Moving on to the French CAC again, French CAC again, it certainly is finding weakness, failing to make higher highs, okay? Finding resistance, you have an unfilled gap below. Certainly looking for weakness on the French CAC. You do have a bull flag scenario, but we have multiple unfilled gaps below, and therefore this bull flag will certainly fail from my understanding. The daily chart of the French CAC as well is into resistance, okay? So you are looking at horizontal resistance at this 4570 zone. Again, the focus is on the euro, euro popping, 
and sending uh, European equities lower. FTSE 100, as you can see here on the 10-minute chart, made a pivot high around 7065, 7067. Ever since then, it certainly has started to be um, a, re a started retracement. You certainly have an unfilled gap at 7015. That will be interesting on the FTSE 100. And uh, again, it is being dictated by oil, with oil hitting for sub $50 on the back of Iranian comments. Uh, you certainly have resistance on the FTSE at around the 7060 zone. So again, certainly expecting that to hold. The daily chart, as you can see here, topping tail dojis at the FIB 61%, certainly is being rejected, and a lower high certainly is being created. Okay, in, and uh, again, hard Brexit concerns certainly are in the uh, in 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 the background, and again, looking for bearish bias. Okay, folks, on that note, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the uh, the bonus. Goodbye now.